Well, good afternoon, friends and family. Backyard Brian here. And um, as you can see, there's not much snow left in the background. We got a little bit left, but it's kind of Saturday afternoon. And um, I don't know, maybe you're out doing some, some chores this morning. Sun was shining this morning, so I thought a little bit about springtime and spring cleanup. And a couple weeks ago, I talked about the new Waynesboro Comprehensive Plan and how the researchers that helped put that together looked at the condition of our homes here in Waynesboro and how we need to really all step it up and work together as a community to improve how our homes are taken care of and what they look like. And so I was thinking about, well, you know, a lot of improvements cost a lot of money, but what can we all do to improve the curb appeal of our homes that doesn't cost a whole lot of money? So it's springtime here. We're going to be outside getting some projects. So the first order of business that I came up with is to clean up and declutter. So, you know, many of us, as we get through winter, we leave shovels around, we leave things in our yard, maybe we leave um, an old pot that's kind of fallen apart or there's something on the porch that's fallen apart. So start by decluttering the outside of our houses and not just our front yards, but also our backyards. And so I know sometimes it's hard to get rid of that stuff, but take a few minutes, get rid of something, pick two or three things and get rid of it. So then the next thing to do is clean up leaves and debris from winter. So if you kind of look here, um, I think I can turn this, you'll see that our sidewalk Oh, well. you'll see that our sidewalk and stuff and even our our beds over here you know they need a little bit of cleanup so go ahead and get the leaves and the sticks and all that stuff cleaned up sweep everything so that's number two so number one is declutter number two is clean up the leaves and the beds and the sidewalks and all those things then number three is it's springtime, so plant some flowers you know you go down get some pansies or something uh, nice and cheap and plant a few flowers, add some color to, to your house. And then the second thing, or the so that's number three. Now number four is you'll see the front door up here. So maybe take spring and use this opportunity to paint your front door a new color. Add some fresh, some spice. It'll take a quart of paint down at Lowe's and that probably costs you about 15 bucks. The flowers that we just talked about, will maybe cost you 15 to $20. So we're up to like 35 or $40 and we really um, haven't spent a whole lot. Didn't cost you to, anything to do the cleanup. So paint your front door. And the fifth one is add some lights somewhere. So go get some string lights. They're pretty cheap. String them from your porch, something nice for spring or like these pathway lights that we've got here. They're solar. They don't, they don't cost much and they're easy to install and just a little bit of extra lighting helps the curb appeal of your house tremendously as as the uh, evening comes and nighttime settles in and so many of our houses just look dark and uninviting at night and so add a little bit of light so you got a fifty dollar budget to do some lighting along with the other uh, few things and i think that leaves you ten bucks extra to go get yourself some coffee while you're doing this work. So I hope that helps and some ideas of how you can improve the curb appeal on your house for less than a hundred bucks and won't take too long to do. You can probably do all of it in a Saturday and a trip down to Lowe's or um, Ace Hardware here in Waynesboro. So anyway, I hope everyone has a great Saturday and I will talk to you soon. And if you know somebody that you think might be helped by this, just uh, take a minute and share it uh, with them as well. All right, later. Y'all have a good one. Bye.